We begin with the coronavirus pandemic and more COVID vaccine confusion, this time at the FEMA-funded vaccination site at North Campus of Miami-Dade College. Lots of people were able to get the vaccine regardless of their age or medical condition, and that led to long lines and questions this morning on who is responsible for ignoring state guidelines. CBS 4's Brooke Shaver joins us live from the site with the details. And Brooke, we're already seeing a lot of people out there early this morning. Yeah, Francis, a lot of people out here already waiting in line here at Miami-Dade College's North Campus. This site doesn't actually open up until 7 o'clock, so we still have about an hour to go. But this line actually stretches. When we got here, it stretched down nine blocks and then around a corner. And as you can see, there are people even parking their cars elsewhere, getting out and walking up to start getting in line. Miami-Dade police are here as well. I was told the first person actually got here around 10 o'clock last night. Lines wrapped for blocks as people tried to get their COVID vaccine from the Miami-Dade College's North Campus site. The site closing down more than two hours early yesterday. The line? About two hours. Yeah, six hours. Workers off camera said they were not given any information about the supply, only told they were done for the day. People like Sylvia said she had a medical note. We were here before, like two days before, and we couldn't. But with a note of the doctor, thank God that we did it. Thank God. But others said they didn't have to show anything other than their ID. Just my, my driver license. Here's what Governor Ron DeSantis said about it. If you're under 50 years old and you don't have a comorbidity, you're at a very low risk. And I would just say that vaccine would probably be better off for our elderly people at this point. The federally funded state run site is supposed to be following the governor's orders on who can get the vaccine. Anyone 65 and older, some police officers and firefighters, all teachers and school employees, and people 18 and up with medical conditions and a signed note or form from their doctor. For those who do get the vaccine, with lines like these, come prepared to wait. So back out live here at Miami-Dade College's North Campus. Again, you can see already some chaos this morning, long lines, people waiting. Even as it's about to start raining, people are going to be waiting here to get those vaccinations at 7 o'clock this morning. Again, staff yesterday seemed to ignore those state guidelines and vaccinated anyone 18 and up as long as they had a driver's license. It seems like a lot of these people in line this morning hoping the same happens for them today. I'm live in Northwest Dade, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 This Morning.